controversy is brewing in Forest Hills Schools District tonight. A group met to protest the teaching of critical race theory in that district. Although the district says it doesn't teach CRT. It is a topic being widely discussed really all across our country. Critical race theory or CRT began as legal theory to examine laws through the lens of race and how those laws can keep the powerful in power. The legal theory focused on institutions and social structures. It has since spread to other disciplines to explore how racism has impacted life throughout history and today. But is it actually being taught locally in schools? Well, this month, two bills were introduced in Ohio to ban CRT from being taught in K-12 schools. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller was at Nagel Middle School tonight, where that protest took place. I asked the district straight up, is CRT being taught to students or staff? The district responded no. Tonight at their regularly scheduled meeting, the superintendent says he has a plan to investigate the claims that CRT is being taught under the guise of a mental wellness team that was founded back in 2017. Today's generations pay for what past generations did. Two sides, those who support the district. No, there's a lot of discussions and controversy and we're just here to say that we support the organization and the schools. And those who say the district is trying to divide students and staff with the teaching of critical race theory. Brad Beckett, who's running for the school board this fall, is one of those parents. We're all out here today to draw attention to critical race theory and the destructive nature it can have on a school district. But district officials say CRT is not being taught in any of its schools. Forest Hill School District has a program that has elements of critical race theory in it. Now it's hard to pin it down because CRT uses code words. Wendy Strickler is also running for the board. She is a former district employee who helped create that program. It's called the CARE Team and it stands for Cultural Competence, Advocacy, Relationships and Empowerment. She says when the team was created in 2017, CRT was not behind it. We had seen a lot of needs in our district around mental wellness, figuring out how to better support a lot of kids who were struggling with anxiety and depression, um, kids not feeling included and like they were really seen for who they were in the district and recognizing we needed to do something to better meet that need. Strickler and other parents in support of the district held a book drive to oppose the protesters. This community wants to come together. We want to support our teachers and our administrators for the incredible work they're doing and our focus should be on just that. Part of the superintendent's plan is to create a citizen advisory group that will meet five times to go over the objectives of the care team. Part of that goal is to make sure that CRT is not being intentionally taught and that the objectives of the care team is clear. Reporting in Anderson Township, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.